Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're all well wherever you are and whatever you're up to. If you're new to my channel, I'm Lauren and I have a fabric and haberdashery shop which is in Birmingham in the UK. And in the shop we sell loads and loads of prim haberdashery tools and notions and sewing gadgets. So if you haven't heard of prim before, it is a German brand that have been around for a really long time, decades probably even over 100 years I think and I think that they are the best quality haberdashery tools and things out there that you can get. Um, we stock probably over 300 different items in the shop that are from them and they have just about anything that you can think of to help you with sewing. They also do loads of knitting and crochet stuff too, patchwork and quilting. Um, and to help the G&G team that work in the shop just learn a bit more about the different products that there, that there are and the ones that we choose to stock in the shop. Um, every few months the team just get together and everybody picks a different product to sort of take home and check out and review because they all love sewing as well, just like me. And then yeah today i thought i'd do a little video and sort of show you the things that we've been checking out recently and um, it might help to solve a sewing situation that you found yourself in make life a bit easier or just give you an idea of different ways that you can do things really so i have got a needle fairy a magnetic seam gauge an aluminium seam gauge some elastic threaders and a chalk cartridge pencil so the first thing i'm going to show you is the needle fairy it does, it is as magical as it sounds. So when you take it out of the packet, it's actually, these two bits are separate and then what you have to do is just slide the little red bit into here. So this kind of white tray ends up being the stand for it. This little spoke is where you put your thread just to keep it steady. So your reel of thread goes there. And then you put your needle into this little needle holder at the top and you don't need to worry about what way it goes in. You just literally plonk it in on the top and then you stretch your thread across this little groove here and you hold it down. I found just holding it with my thumb and index finger kind of worked the best. Um, you don't want to hold it too taut, um, otherwise it will it'll, it'll struggle to push through, but just sort of gentle pressure. And then you press down this little white lever and what happens is a really small spoke comes out and it just pushes the thread through the eye of the needle so then as you let go it leaves this little thread loop here which you can then pull on and then your needle is threaded magic just like that and then it's also got a little blade at the back so you could use that to cut your threads loose too if you wanted so it's really good if you if you do struggle with your eyesight you know you can't see so even with those traditional needle threaders that are the sort of metal discs and they have a really fine metal sort of loop on them you still have to put them through the eye of the needle which might be quite hard um, but this just kind of literally does it for you so yeah if you struggle threading your hand sewing needles then this might be the, the tool that you need um, the next one that I've got is this magnetic seam gauge here and we use these all the time in the studio where we, where we teach our sewing workshops. Beginners absolutely love them. So what they do is they just, it's a magnet and it, it'll just stick onto the plate of your sewing machine and you can just reposition it anywhere you need it to go depending on what your seam allowance is. And then it acts just more as a visual aid to help you line the raw edge of your fabric up when you're sewing your seam. So obviously seam allowances are extremely important, especially when you're doing dressmaking because you've got to keep that seam allowance consistent throughout. Um, so yeah, I would I would highly recommend that if you're if you're a beginner or you're still quite new to sewing because it does make keeping the seam allowance even a, a bit easier. The next thing that I've got is another gauge. This is an aluminium seam gauge and it's really good for just measuring shorter distances. So obviously you've probably got a measuring tape if you're doing dressmaking or sewing but because they're quite floppy they're they're quite often just a bit more flimsy or sort of cumbersome to use if you're measuring a shorter distance so this is good because it sort of holds its shape so it goes up to five centimeters that's the sort of maximum that you can measure on it and then it's got these other sections around the side that are just common distances that you might want to measure so centimeter centimeter and a half and so on so you can use it when you're say pressing back a hem and because it is aluminium you know it's not gonna it doesn't matter if it gets hot or if the iron accidentally touches it so people find that i've found that people really like that in the sewing workshops too 
much less likely to to sort of get get damaged with heavy use especially when you're using it to press or you can use it if you've just got something to mark out on your project so you might need to mark out a seam allowance or a stitch line or something so it's just a bit of an, an easier quicker way to to measure something so yeah another useful thing for the toolbox and um, the next thing that I've got is this prim love chalk pencil um, and it is a nice color as you can see always helps and it's got this sort of soft rubber grip on it so it feels nice and comfy to use and it basically works like one of those um, traditional sort of cartridge pencils I remember having these when I was at school and you just click the top and then the lead comes out um, and if you hold it click down you can push the lead back in again um, you can get different colours of lead to refill it so you can get a, um, a pack that's got grey and pink and yellow in it but it comes with white and it's just really good for making quite specific sort of sharp markings so it might be some pattern markings that you've got when you're making dress making sometimes you see little circles or it might be a buttonhole or something and obviously it stays very accurate because it's pointy it doesn't blunt like a big block of traditional chalk and then on the end it's got a little rubber where you can rub the chalk mark off afterwards if you needed to just I would always just check on a scrap that that little you know it is going to come off but it's just chalk it should sort of wash off anyway but yeah we've been finding them that people really like them in the workshops as well they're in the little toolbox that we give to people when they come for workshops and then the last thing which I feel like has been quite a revelation for me are these elastic threaders so it comes in a pack with three different sizes depending on the width of the elastic but the way it works is that you basically feed your elastic through the little grooves that are at the end and these teeth just grip onto the elastic and then it just basically makes it much easier to feed the elastic through a channel because you've got quite a firm, long, sort of rounded tip to, to feed the elastic through. A more traditional way, of course, is to use a safety pin, but the number of times I've accidentally opened the safety pin and then it's got caught on somewhere and all kinds of nonsense. So this makes it much, much easier. And then, yeah, depending on the width of your channel, you could, you could pick what size you use. So, yeah, I found that much easier to use when I have to feed elastic through a channel <laughs> so I hope you find that interesting just give you a bit of an insight into some of the different things that are out there and um, all of these things you can buy on my website and I'll put a link to my corresponding blog post in the description below and um, where you can then see see where to get these products if you've ever come across anything else and you think I don't really know how to use that or what is that actually for just leave me a comment below and then I can add it to the list of things that we investigate and report back on in the future but thanks so much for watching guys if you liked the video just remember to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already just click subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video and um, next week I'm going to be sharing all of the new fabrics that we've had in recently in the shop so I'm really excited about that one and um, I hope you have a good week guys thanks bye Oh, 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 oh,